What is going on everybody? My name is Chris. Welcome to Bourbon Sane. If this is your first time checking out the channel, welcome in. If you're looking for the latest in whiskey news, reviews, information, live streams, this is the right channel for you. Please consider hitting that subscribe button and that like button. That way you'll be notified every time I go live or drop a new review. Now, today we have got a very, very special bourbon. One I quite enjoy. We are going to be reviewing Blanton's The Original Single Barrel. Now, Blanton's is actually a Buffalo Trace product. Now, this is considered Mash Bill 2 for Buffalo Trace, so Buffalo Trace doesn't really put out um, details specifying what their mash bills of their bourbon or their makeup of their bourbon is. But in general, we know Mash Bill 2 is about 12 to 15% rye, so it's a little bit higher rye mash bill than some of the other Buffalo Trace products. Um, Blanton's is a really cool bottle. So, I mean, Buffalo Trace and their marketing team is just ridiculous with, with these Blanton's bottles. They do such a good job marketing them. All the specifics of the bourbon are right on the bottle. So this comes in at 93 proof, and it tells you exactly where in the warehouse, which barrel number, everything right here on the bottle. So this was actually dumped on 718 of 18. So this is when they dumped the barrel and put it into the bottle. And this is really cool just for marketing alone. I, I know me personally, I went and seeked out a, um, a birthday bottle of my son when I had this. So this isn't his birthday, but I have a different Blanton's bottle that does have his date of birth on it. So marketing alone, that's, that's Buffalo Trace knows what they're doing. That's for sure. Um, it also tells us on here, this is from barrel 239, Rickhouse 7, 93 proof, and then um, Warehouse uh, H, which all the Blanton's products are going to come from Warehouse H. Now Blanton's in general is actually a really, really cool product. So Blanton's originally started in 1984. Um, and it was actually a brainchild of Elmer T. Lee, which is another bourbon and popular name in bourbon you may have heard before. So Elmer T. Lee was a master distiller at Buffalo Trace, and his protege or his predecessor before him was actually um, Albert B. Blanton. And Blanton was kind of the director of Buffalo Trace before him, and Elmer T. Lee kind of noticed every time Albert Blanton wanted to have a party or had, you know, High, high important people over to visit, he would always go hand select barrels from this Rick House, Rick House H. And he'd always pick the center cut honey barrels, he called them. And he'd bottle up those, those single barrels into bottles and um, it was kind of the best of the best. So Elmer T. Lee thought, hey, this seems to be um, where the money's at, where the market's at. Maybe we should try to release this as a single barrel expression, a new premium type of bourbon. And that's exactly what he did. So Elmer T. Lee decided, let's bottle up Blanton's, let's name it after Blanton's, and that's, since that's where the whole idea originated and came from, and the rest is history. Now Blanton's is one of those bottles you always recognize on the shelf, everyone's seeking it out. Um, once you're a little bit further into your whiskey journey, your bourbon journey a little bit, Blanton's is one of those products, at least initially, you, you seek out and you want to try to get your hands on to try. I know I did once I moved past thinking Wood Woodford Reserve was the end all of, of bourbon. So definitely, definitely a highly sought after product, definitely on allocation by Buffalo Trace. So still difficult to get, but just a little background on the bottle there for you guys. But let's start out by, by looking at the color on this bottle. So another really cool thing about all these Blanton's bottles are they come with these um, horses on top and each each horse with rider has um, has a different letter on it. So the letters actually do spell out Blanton's. And that's really cool as well. Now you can see this little sticker on the front of my bottle. This is actually a store pick. So this is a store pick from Smitty Specialty Beverage. But remember, um, all Blanton's products are single barrel. So they all are gonna be a little bit different, store pick or not. So even if it's a store pick, it's not necessarily gonna be the same as, as any other Blanton's bottle or even substantially different from any other Blanton's bottle. It's just gonna be unique on its own. So looking at the color to begin with, Again, coming in at 93 proof. This is a, a light to medium caramel color in my light. So not overly dark on this. It's a good looking color. Uh, almost no legs on this bourbon. Nothing sticking to the glass at all, which I wouldn't really expect at 93 proof. So now remember, a little bit higher rye mash bill, um, 10 to 15 percent, they say. 12 to 15, and it, even that's not much though. I mean, we think of some other bourbons and they can push 25, 30% rye. 
So really not too much dealing with mash build too, but let's go into the nose on this, guys. So I actually get a little bit of a cinnamon kick right up front on that. A nice rich caramel comes through as well on this. The oak is there. It's actually a little bit of like a a bitter bitter oak tannin, if you will. I mean, it's got the the definite buffalo trace flavor profile on the nose. Where I even describe, I always describe it as kind of like a um, a little bit of a cherry, like a cherry cola note. With that caramel, vanilla, and then almost like a burnt burnt wood or that that bitter wood tannin on the nose for sure it's a pleasant nose um the only hint of rye really though on the nose now is um that cinnamon note not really peppery it's pretty um it's actually pretty buttery on the nose so i did a live stream with jason from the mash and drum and um we actually had this as well as a uh, blend straight from the barrel as well and I sent him a sample of this, and he um, he had this, and both of us, it just smelled completely rye. I mean, like, almost like a rye whiskey to, the, to that point, where it was almost more than 50% rye. But this bottle, as I've drank it down, you can see it's near in the halfway mark of being gone. Now, it's definitely opened up. That rye bite has definitely toned down around the edges, and it's definitely smoothed out a lot. So, all right, let's go into the taste here, guys. Cheers. Mm. All right, so on the palate, it's um, it's actually very drying. So a lot more of those um, like bitter wood tannins, as I was describing on the nose, came through on the palate, and more of that rye kick, rye flavor, the pepperiness, the drying sensation you'll feel on the tongue definitely came through more on this bottle. Um, so I guess those those rye notes I was getting on the live stream really have not dissipated completely, at least on the palate. Um, it's not bad by any means. I, I'm not a, a big fan myself of anything that dries the palate too much. So anything, sometimes some very heavily ryed whiskeys can um, can do that or higher rye mash bills in general. But um, this one is is actually quite a, quite drying. Boy, the nose does not smell that. That much like rye though. It's very, very nice caramel, rich caramel vanilla nose though still. Mm. Yeah, I mean the, the same notes are still there with the caramel and the vanilla, but really more of that bitter, those bitter, um, the bitter wood tannins and the drying sensation, more peppery than cinnamon on the flavor. Um, the cinnamon came through more on the nose. A little bit of clove on the back end on this too. So on average, Blanton's is aged around six years in general. When we were on a tour down at Buffalo Trace, they said that's about the, the average age of these Blanton's single barrel expressions. So um, you wouldn't expect too many of the oak notes, but a lot of oak is coming through on this single barrel. You know, each again, it's all single barrel. Each expression is going to be different. Um, so it's really hard to know. There's not going to be a huge amount of consistency bottle to bottle, honestly. I've had probably four different Blanton's bottles to this point, and each one's been different. Each one's been unique. I've had two, uh, probably three bottles I really liked, and then the fourth was kind of meh, kind of average. And this bottle is very good. Um, the nose is very different from the palate, but it's it amazes me how different bottle to bottle they can be, even though they're coming from the same distillery. So, yeah, the front end of that palette gives you all those sweetness. The sweet, rich vanilla, creme brulee, like brown sugar, all on the front, but then as you as you swallow in the finish, I mean, it's about a medium finish, but it just leaves a, a, quite a drying sensation on the tongue, which I'm not a fan of. Not a fan of that. Overall, solid bottle, though. Solid bottle. This does come in at fifty nine ninety nine, which is state minimum. Um, this is his store pick, so this was probably about sixty five. I'm thinking it was. Um, and Smitty's 
puts out a lot of great store picks. Uh, they, they do great with their store picks. I've had 1792 Full Proof, Woodford Reserve, had a Jack Daniels store pick. So they have a whole bunch of different types of store picks they've had. And um, their Knob Creek was really good too. Um, and th this is another winner. It really is. Um, with the exception of the finish, that drying finish, everything else about this whiskey is, is very, very good. And Blanton's in general is a solid bourbon. Again, another $60 bourbon. The gold standard $60 bourbon, Old Forester 1920. I mean, um, that's the gold standard. It's the gold standard at 60 bucks, and I don't think Blanton's lives up to it. I really don't think Blanton's lives up to that $60 Old Forester point. Um, that's just always my comparison whiskey. Very, very good. And if you have no problem spending $60, you definitely need to pick this up because this is a bourbon drinker's bourbon. I mean, it's something you should have in your bar at all times if you can. But if you're looking at dollar to dollar value to price ratio, I think Old Forester 1920 is gonna be a better bet for you. In general, Blanton's is a solid bottle. Um, I think it's definitely overhyped and um, over sought after, even though it's not one of the higher, higher end Buffalo Trace products. I, I still think it is, and I think a lot of it's marketing. Like I say, Buffalo Trace does a great job with marketing. But if you have no problem spending the $60, definitely go out and pick up a bottle. You're not going to be disappointed with most of these single barrels. I enjoy them all. They're easy sipping. 93 proof is a good proof point. And um, one of the best stories in bourbon, too. You know, what we just what we talked about. A great story, story with, goes along with it, too. So thank you guys so much for watching the review today. If you liked what you saw, please do consider hitting that like button and that subscribe button. I do have a Patreon page I just launched, guys. If you're interested in checking that out, go check it out. Patreon.com slash BourbonSane. Exclusive content you can only find on the Patreon page if you are a patron. So please go check that out. We just got new challenge coins now. We're using 93 today. I love these things. I really do love these things. I appreciate y'all hanging out today. Thank you for having some whiskey with me today, guys. Stay insane.